good morning. It is uh, currently about 9, 9 a.m. I've been up since about 6.30 a.m. on this problem. I've got a um, Welch Construction company that I sold a server to uh, about two or three months ago. All of a sudden, the owner of the business is unable to log into the server, doesn't know why. Um, everything was fine until he did a Windows 11 upgrade. Uh, the other systems in his office are logging in just fine. It's only his system that's the problem. Uh, it rejects his password. I've double, triple checked the password. The password is correct. Now, if I had a thousand systems, I would have the same problem at the same time because my research has told me that it is a Windows 11 upgrade. I don't know. There we go. Cannot connect to Windows 7 uh, ACDC on Windows 11. I've researched it. It's a problem. It relates to this version uh, 22H2 and uh, the only solution is installing or upgrading Samba to 4.16 or so it appears, I hope. Uh, I've done an app that up, update upgrade doesn't bring it up to 4.16 or above so now I'm faced with installing from source code. I'm unfamiliar with Samba on a core level enough to where I have some real concerns about something breaking. I'm going to take a snapshot uh, with uh, ZFS before I proceed and then uh, I'm going to have to install Samba from source and hope everything works out uh, or if it gets worse I'll have to unwind that. But um, again tricky situation right now we're dealing with one server we could very easily, um, if we were larger and had rolled this out on a much uh, bigger level, had a really big problem all at one time. Uh, I can imagine how the phones would ring, how how much pressure would have been on us. And this happened, I got my text at 6.30 this morning while I was laying in bed. Um, you know, this could have happened at any point in time, the moment somebody says upgrade to Windows 11, boom it breaks they can't log into their machine anymore um, and that's just the way this stuff goes so i just wanted to kind of record this moment in time um, it is november 5th 2022 at uh, 8 55 and now we've only got uh, i think three or four servers out there so i'll make sure that we implement this change on the other ones um, but an interesting use case to Oren, uh, a, a new hire here at the store, and uh, explaining what I just explained to you. And her reaction was a very intelligent one. And she said, you know, um, she had heard through her school at some point that somebody on the domain upgrades these things to the latest version so that they're, so they're the first to know. And that's the answer. It's really the answer is somebody on our side uh, as we go go along, needs to consistently upgrade to the latest version of Windows, the latest version of Apple, um, and make sure that we're the first to know if that upgrade is going to break something. It's just part of a Q&A department that we don't have right now, and uh, we'll have to have at that point in time. So you've done the hard shut off three different times? Yep. Okay. Return automatic repair. Okay. I'm guessing that that's a new thing, so I'm guessing it's doing what you're saying it's supposed to do. I'm hoping. Diagnosing your PC. Yeah, I can see that the Dell, everything's a little, looks like it's in like a safe mode right now. And then advanced options. Try that one. I guess so, yeah. I think that takes us back a step. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay, wait. A okay, there we go. Start up repair, start settings. Command prompt, uninstall updates. Remove re release recently installed quality or feature updates from Windows. Uh, that, one, right? that, that one that said remove recently installed, that sounds like a winner. It said uninstall latest quality update, uninstall latest feature update. Gives me an option of those. Oh, man. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> can you go back a step? Was there an option to, uh, to, to uh, do a little bit, to do all updates? I thought it I heard says, one more. UEFI firmware settings, change settings of your PC's UEFI firmware or system restore. Use a restore point recorded on your PC to resolve Windows. Let's look at the restore point for just a moment. See if you have any in there. 
No restore points have been created. Okay, so that's another issue. We need to turn on system restore within your machine, but we can't use it now, so you can back out of that. No, I'm, you know, so that you don't have to read these all the time. Uh, let me turn on a video so you can just show me the, uh, the, the screen. Uh, do you have, are you using an Apple or an iPhone, uh, Android? I'm using Android. Android, okay, so I don't have that signal. Uh, yeah, and if you, do, there's an app called Signal. If you want to download that app, that'll work. The icon is a, a, a blue background with a white circle. Startup repair, got it. Startup behavior, command prompt, all right. This looks like, I, I, you know, let's just go ahead and uninstall both of those. Hit the first one. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got you up so early. I didn't mean to. I was just going to, I texted you just to let you know when you woke up. But I, hopefully I didn't wake you up. That's all right. I, I, you know, no, you didn't wake me up. I don't think. Uh, I woke up. No, you, no, you didn't wake me up because when I did wake up, I checked the text and it was about a half hour old. So, hey, man, this is, this is, I expect you to wake me up on something like this. So it's, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get it earlier. Not a problem. That's all right. Uh, you know, I, I've got um, a responsibility. You, you've got um, a unique piece of hardware there and, it, you know, as capable as it is, it, um, it, right now your support line is pretty thin until we start selling more servers and grow the company. So, um, sure. so I, I accept that responsibility and uh, I'm going to be responsive. I hope you can get her going and get some of these things sold. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I've got a January launch date for uh, go, get going out on a larger scale. So, um, you know, the early indicators, I've got five of these running right now and they're, you know, all running well, no problems. Uh, the, this type of an issue is not really a, a problem per se. It's just the typical evolution of technology. Windows 11 comes out with this and the rest of the world responds to it. Um, yeah, uh, and um, and that's not an uncommon situation, but yeah, everything's good. So um, this has been a refined process over a period of it's been at least six years now. Windows 11 it does hold the cards, and uh, they do what they do, and the rest of the world wakes up in the morning and says, "Oh shit, that doesn't work anymore." We've got we, they they just did this. We've got to figure out how to get work with it. That stuff because the whole world works with windows a lot of the world does i guess anyway at least sure at my level so. yeah and honestly there are too many programs out there um for them to to do it any other way i mean they test it with their own stuff of course microsoft Office and things like that uh, and they probably test it with some of the major programs that affect uh the most people but uh, like their own windows server and things like that but they're um but they'd be it would be impossible for them to test it with the the you know millions of other software products that are out there when you have something that's called a domain which you do in your case uh, it's not it's not all the decisions are no longer being made just inside your machine you're logging in that credentials is then passed to the server the server verifies the credential uh, based on what what is called the domain where all users are verified at the server level at this point. Uh, if, okay. And then the server sends back the instructions to Windows that says yay or nay, uh, at which point Windows takes that um, confirmation or decline and allows or doesn't allow you to get in. So um, something on the server side, which has been, the server hasn't changed, it's doing everything exactly the same way. Uh, however, something in Windows 11 has changed that it accepts, it, it evidently requires that information in a slightly different format, or the information it's sending to the server is being sent in a slightly different format and causing a failure, uh, a failure to communicate, as they say. And so that's, that's the basic breakdown of it. Well, I'm happy to say that fixed the problem. So. We haven't solved the problem on the server side yet, um, and that's something that we're going to do on, in our own house. We're going to upgrade to Windows 11, upgrade to the latest version, see the break, and then repair it. Uh, and so then we'll know how to put that out to the other customers. But in this particular client's case, we forced a failure to start three times in Windows, 
We do that at the point that the white circles just start to appear, a couple seconds after that, hard shut off the machine. Do that three times. On the fourth time, let it roll. Windows is automatically going to prompt you for advanced options, in which case you just need to navigate, find those updates, pull them out. The computer will restart, and sure enough, it logged in perfectly, no problem. Absolute confirmation, it was the Windows update that caused the problem. So I hope this video has helped you. I know it was a little long-winded, took you through a little bit of the background music. Some people are going to find that interesting. Some people are going to find that a waste of their time. And I hope you were able to skip through and find the information you needed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.